This is insane. Dude, it's so good seeing everybody. We're up here at North Star. We finally gathered the whole Rockstar team together. I can't believe the crew we have here. End of the season. You know, it's not that often that you can get all the gang. You know, everyone's doing different projects all season long. For all of us on the Rockstar team, like, I think it's rad that we've created a group of, of riders that can all kind of ride it all. Just drove in from uh, Utah yesterday. I'm fired up to be here. Yeah, we got the full team here. My first time actually with everybody. So yeah, everything's pretty exciting. Dude, it's so well timed right now. The jumps are going off. Boys are getting it. It's fun right now. Still super fast and still got a little bit of firmness on it, but we only barely cracked the surface. Yeah, lots of fun to be had. To me, being able to ride everything is super important, and that's like how you could tell someone's a really good snowboarder. Uh, I think it's gonna be a quarter pipe day, probably. I wanna ride some transition and try to land as high as possible. Right now, how I describe the Rockstar crew is diverse. We have a sick group of riders. Someone like Joe Perkins just got on the team, like absolutely crushing in the streets. And then we got Nick Baden. Sam Taxwood. Honored to be a part of this. Nick and I are the new ads to the team, and I couldn't be more hyped to be here with everyone. Wow. Rad boo. Beautiful. I'm Raivu Katayama. I'm from Shizuoka. Actually, there's no snow completely whole season. My first snowboarding experience was when I was two years old. And my dad got a hard boots for snowboarding gear. He get rope to me and they guide me like a, like a dog. <laughs> Now, most riders uh, just focus on competition. That makes me kind of sad. <laughs> Raibu is a really kind human. I just love being around him because he's so motivated and he just really loves being a part of the crew and watching him ride is insane. He just absolutely sends it. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> yeah, follow you on these guys? Oh yeah, let's do it. Mikey Cicerelli is a Canadian just badass. Yeah, he's so sick. 
great style and then just the nicest dude ever, like so nice. Making it look fun, because that's why we all snowboard is because it's really, really freaking fun. That might make someone want to go pick up a board or go out for a, a sick day on the mountain. <laughs> so sick. That was sick. Oh. Yeah. I showed up from Alaska. We were kind of doing a strike mission up there, trying to score some good snow. And up there, it's still full on winter. So like to come back to Tahoe and just have some beautiful weather, it's like. 45 degrees out. It's nice to just get back and kind of get back to the roots, board with all the homies. As usual, Tahoe, North Star delivering here with Rockstar. The setup here they made is wonderful. The idea at the beginning of the year is really just go ride whatever's good when it's good. Like, you know, you could be mid-season backcountry, but then the snow stability gets good or the snow gets bad. It's like, you want to be able to mobilize, get to the streets, you can still get stuff done. Brandon Davis has some serious drive. He's putting out constant edits like three or four times a winter. So I really admire the way he's just like, he's like, I'm going to make this happen. Like, that's kind of his thing, and, and he's absolutely crushing it. Creativity to me is kind of a personality. If they're a creative person, you could often tell and they're snowboarding. I think you just gotta do what speaks to you and what you wanna do. Don't actually get influenced too hard by what other people are doing. Yeah, I love Nick Baden. Yeah! Nick Baden's personality is heavy, like, rock and roll influence. But he snowboards like he's like a drummer in a band, you know? Just like, loud, kind of in your face. Super stylish and just does his own thing. like a vessel for freedom of expression, basically. And we got a lot of unique human beings here that it's really good at what they do and everybody seems to have like their own unique style and direction in snowboarding and just a lot of good flavors of our sport. Kind of setting, it takes a bit of pressure off. It's like a bit of a release, and everybody can take a breath, but still have fun and, and push it, which is which is cool. <laughs> we are wrapping up day one here in North Star. Epic ass day, and yeah, peace. Time to get out of here. It's a lot of different schedules coming together uh, in North Star right now, and it's really cool to 
to kind of gather all that and see what everyone's been up to and, and kind of come together for the final, final stop of the season. <laughs> We got a little North Star surprise here. Overnight, we get a foot of fresh, and they have an ungroomed jump line just screaming at me right here. <laughs> Torstein, I think for all of us on the team, uh, is a kind of an idol. The Norwegian king. Dude, he's just a boss. I looked up to his riding from when I was like eight years old. He's won every contest. He's been killing it in the backcountry for I don't know how many years. Watching all his amazing video parts and it inspired me to become a backcountry snowboarder and film video part. Good guy to hang out with and even more impressive guy to snowboard with. He's really rad about kind of being a mentor to us and very grateful that we get that opportunity. <laughs> oh my gosh! I want to try to have as much fun as possible and to me having fun on the board is often like pushing my comfort zone. When you're scared and you make it out of there how you wanted it, then you're getting super stoked. I love North Star, so coming back here is awesome. I haven't got a ride here in a long time, so it's, the last two days have been super special to me. Like, ripping that park is so fun, and the people up there killed it for us, so it's just an all-around blast. I think it's been really rad that we got to come together as a group after all, all of our seasons, because a lot of us are on different programs. We don't actually get to catch up, and we don't get to ride together, so I think what Rockstar did bringing us all together is like, also, yeah, we want to shred and ride, but it's the after riding, it's like the hanging out and getting to like hear from everybody on the crew. And I, I think it's really sweet that we get to do that. I've been a snowboarder since I was six years old. So I'm 26 now, it's 20 years of my life I've been snowboarding. It's the, the biggest passion of my life, you know, it draws me to the mountains, draws me to my friendships that I've created. And I think for me, it's kind of what kind of defines me as a, as a human right now is, is snowboarding. It's kind of more of a lifestyle. It's kind of my life more than actually like a hobby. Like I don't know anything else besides boarding really. Snowboarding's probably the most fun thing I've ever done. When I started snowboarding, I was like, wait a second. I could be creative with it and show more of like whatever you want to do in your personality and your writing. So for me, it was just like the most playful thing ever. And I always thought to myself, I want to do this for the rest of my life, no matter what. But if I could do this and like try to make a living out of it, that would be the dream. <laughs> 